welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna do a spend a day with me at home um, I'm literally so bored I'm still in my pajamas and it's 11 17 I'm gonna start making some lunch because um, it's about to be that time so I'm gonna be taking out some chicken to make for lunch um, that we bought yesterday um, I really want to stick to eat healthy eating, so we're going to eat that. Um, also, I'm going to have this for lunch, and it's an apple cider vinegar refreshers prebiotic, your daily dose of wellness, and it's by the brand Bragg. You guys obviously, if you guys have never seen like the viral TikTok of like drinking apple cider vinegar, vinegar every morning um, to help you lose weight, this is like a part of that but I am super excited to drink this um, so yeah I'm gonna read up on it but I'm gonna drink it for lunch also done my my appearance you guys it is just one of those days it's Monday and I don't feel like changing it's also laundry day for me because my parents normally do their laundry on the weekend so it's always busy so also we bought these cookies. My mom put them in the fridge. These are so good for you. I love Larry's um, cookies. They're super good. I don't like any other one but the double chocolate one. So yeah, um, I'm going to be making some chicken and I'm going to be cooking up some onions. I already have some rice and then I'm going to have it with a side of carrots um, for lunch. That's going to be my lunch today. Um, maybe I'll make some potatoes, who knows, as a little side. Um, but yeah, you guys are to watch me make my lunch. So, let's get it really right into it. Also, um, I'm going to be listening to a podcast while I do it. I was listening uh, to For the Girl, For the Gals, um, who has Kayla Kasuga and Madeline, I believe. I don't remember her last name, but we're gonna finish hearing it. I also, oh, I wear my headphones while watching or listening. My headphones are gonna die. Um, these, this literally breaks my skin, uh, not my skin, my hair, and it's annoying. But anyways.
so I finished cooking and I quickly ate. I forgot to show you guys how my plate looked like, but I'm just gonna tell you how it came out. So, I put half a cup of potatoes. This is how they look like. I added the onion, and honestly, this just made it taste 10 times better. I added a half a cup of rice, um, because obviously we're already having the potato. And then I added about this size of a piece of chicken. And it was, let me tell you guys, it was literally the most delicious lunch I've ever had in a while that just made me feel so much healthier. Um, and I don't feel sluggish, like I feel like I have energy, which is insane. Because when I tell you guys, I after I eat, I normally never have energy. I'm always sluggish. I'm tired. I want to go to tea. I want to go to sleep. I want to take a nap. Um, also, sometimes after having like a, a meal that tastes like really good, I have a tendency to go back for seconds. Now, if you are this type of person where you're like, oh my god, this meal was amazing. Like, I just need to have another bite. Don't do it. What you guys want to do is you want to serve a side of like fruit. Or maybe I put a side of carrots, a side of something that you like that is vegetables or berries or something. Other lines. I prefer vegetables because having too many like fruits is bad for you because it contains a lot of sugar. But I started munching on these and I'm slowly munching on them and it's getting rid of my hunger, which I like because my mind i feel like it takes a little bit longer for it to process that i already ate and i'm done eating my meal and that's it for right now until later on i'm also trying fasting today so i feel like i'm doing such a good job um let me show you guys what my little meal setup looks like so i use the app called lifesome and honestly it's one of my favorite apps it's so easy to use um i you can choose from various different meal plans they have vegan vegetarian pescatarian regular uh meal plan regular healthy carb um like focus like keto focus they have so many different types of um i guess like meals and i am using the clean eating which you guys can see on top if i can show you guys i'm gonna turn the camera on that way you guys can see it better hold on Okay, so uh, up here you guys can see my clean eating and then it just shows me how many carbs, protein, and fat I can take in. So for breakfast, I had a total of 389 calories of an intake and this is what I had. Uh, for lunch, it's a little bit less. It is 308 calories because obviously I did not have like the protein shake. Um, so yeah, I had, I wrote down everything, my baked potatoes, um, I had half of the rice and the baked potatoes. Um, I put the raw carrots and the chicken breast with skin roasted because I did roast it in the little machine. And then it shows me how many calories I have left, which is 903, and how many calories I've eaten for the day, which is 697. Down at the bottom, it adds, lets you add like exercise, your water intake, which I've only had two, which is horrible because it's already 12. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a um, walk today with my mom around 6 p.m. so I can get like some type of exercise but I feel really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash the dishes right now and then get back into studying. Again, I've been studying so freaking hard, you guys. I finished Science with Suzanne's like anatomy and physiology and all of her stuff. But unfortunately, I was still really lost. I started taking the practice exam for uh, the a &P section on ATIT's website. Um, and I practically was getting them all wrong and I was getting so frustrated. I was getting upset because I studied for an entire week. Um, so what I did is actually posted up a little post on a study group that I was talking to you guys about last video. And that same study group, I just made a post and I was like, what do you guys use? Like what are other methods? Cause whatever I used, unfortunately, like for some reason I couldn't grasp the information. Um, I'm obviously going over all my notes, so I'm good on that. I am missing paperwork cause it's at Chris's house, but it's okay. Um, 
I am doing crash course right now and I actually really like it. I'm learning a lot and I'm doing these on flashcards instead of taking notes. So anything I feel like it's important, I go to make a question out of it and answer it in the back so I can go ahead and study throughout the day. I also got new apps on my phone. Um, I got quite a few. I got crash course, which you can watch on the go, um, which I need to. Uh, I got Pigmonic, but that one is more like you, you have to pay for it. It's a, a subscription. I got Can Academy, which I have not opened. I got the, which one did I get? I think the T Mastery um, app where it literally asks you questions, like daily questions. Like you can take a, uh, uh, what is it called? Hello? I don't know what it's doing now. <laughs> Do you guys see it? It asks you like daily questions. I got nursing school, teas, Ken, Crash Course, and Picmonic. So, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the dishes now and I'm gonna go back to studying. It is 12 25 now. Hopefully, it'll be done by 12 35, like 10 minutes of washing dishes, and that way I can go ahead and quickly go back to studying. So, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, let's find out if my clothes are dry. This normally takes forever. And okay, we are changed. We are dressed. We're ready for the rest of the day. Um, it is about to be 2 o'clock now. Um, I filled up my water. This is the second time I'm filling it, I think, today, which is good. And we're going to continue studying, guys. So... <sighs> It's nice to take that little break, get myself together. I actually was watching a clip on YouTube about Salt Lake City. I've been really into the news lately. And it's about Salt Lake City and how it's like drying up, which is the saddest thing ever. Um, because there's so much issues with global warming that is insane. And if we really don't take the time to watch the news, do our own research, dif like differentiate, like, okay, what's really going on? You know, um, we have to be smarter and hopefully like our generation gets better and we start getting rid of the things that are really, you know, contributing into glo global warming and why a whole ass lake is getting dried up. So, I don't know y'all, but this is insane. Let's get back on it, guys. It is 1.45, um, and we're gonna get back on it. I'm gonna study my little cards. Um, so I've been watching a crash course, and I just finished the second video in the immune system, which is something that I really wanted to go over. I'm only gonna watch crash course videos that I feel like I need more information on that I'm completely confused on. Like the animal cell, I know it, I got it down. We don't need to go over it. Um, the i can definitely know differentiate mitosis and meiosis uh cell division good um so stuff like the immune system where it has like a lot of um different parts to it um i'm definitely gonna go over it it's super easy um and i'm taking little flashcards on it so this is the innate immune system and this one is the adaptive so now i'm gonna go over let's see i'm gonna go over part three which is uh let's see the cell medi medi mediated medi mediated i have no idea i'm so horrible at pronunciation I think I really do have dyslexia, you guys, which sucks because I was writing own and I wrote it O N M. I flipped the W, made it into an M, put the N in the middle. I don't know. I have like really bad dyslexia. Anyways, let's get back to studying. Woo! I oh, I'm actually out of the house for the first time like by myself I have not traveled on my own in a really long time and I have not done a car vlog in a really long time so um, 
I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I really want a drink. So we're to go together and I feel like I'm just gonna talk to you guys and be real, be open um, and talk about how I feel because I feel like as much as I show my content about science and the ATITs test prep world, I feel like I have not really shared like my thoughts and emotions and how I feel. Um, so I am actually um, feeling a little defeated prior to me finding Crash Course. Um, like I mentioned, I studied for like a week and a half um, for this test. And literally when I tell you guys, when I started doing the practice questions, I didn't know anything like I was getting everything wrong and I think it's more of like me understanding and memorizing like the words like I remember the process but the words are so hard to remember like why do they make these words so fucking hard to pronounce and if I don't know how to pronounce them I don't remember the words at all so by the way Mia's here with me she comes with me everywhere she's like my my human purse she just is my ride or die. Um, anyways, so we're gonna, I have to take things slow, which is why I'm re-watching Crash Course. I'm re-watching videos I feel like I need more information on, and honestly, Crash Course has been a life changer because even though Science with Suzanne, yes, she had great videos, she explained really well, I feel like for me, there was still stuff that I was missing. Um, so going on Crash Course, it they teach you everything step by step, what comes first, what comes second. Whereas if on Science and Suzanne, she kind of just posts everything um, and it's not really in order. Um, for example, the immune system, I didn't know that inanimate, innate came before adaptive. And then after adaptive, there was um, the cellular defense system. So I just, I didn't know until now. And like, it's stuck in my brain. Um, so it's all about practice. It's all about finding your niche. I downloaded a lot of apps and I'm gonna see which one works for me to wake up instead of going like on social media. I did delete social media because I was realizing it was the death of me. I deleted TikTok, I deleted Instagram. I no longer have those. Like I actually just deleted my accounts. Like don't vlog while driving. Relax, Mia. I'm not a bad driver. Anyways, we're almost there to Starbucks. Um, but like I said, it's all about finding your niche and finding ways to make yourself learn. I know some people do Pomodoro amazingly and Pomodoro works for them. Pomodoro does not work for me. I don't know why. Um, maybe I can try again to do it. Um, people like as soon as they take their breaks they go on social media they start doing this and then they can easily disconnect I'm not not that person who where I can easily disconnect from my social media so that's why I just got rid of it the only thing that I do have obviously is YouTube because I need it and that even even that distracts me so I just have to remember like hey like you're taking your test in three weeks you only have three weeks to study this material and you already applied to a nursing school and that nursing school two of the nursing schools that you're applying to only let you take it once and then you have to do a like redemption program which I do not feel like doing because it seems 10 times harder for me to get into nursing school if I would have just studied the first time like maybe I would have gone into nursing school so there is that holy shit this fucking um, thing is super long but I'm gonna go ahead and go right here. The line is really long. Anyways, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I look kind of scary, but it's already nine time. It's 9.13. I completely forgot to end the vlog. Typical. It's like my third video where I forget to end the vlog. Um, but I ended up finishing studying at 30, which I think is really good because I started studying, I think, at like eight eight to three so not bad um i am going to be studying more and i want to say that i um am using crash course and crash course has been helping 
um but yeah you guys i'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe enjoy the beehive fam and i'll see you guys next time bye peace